you guys, this is Nemo Designs. I'm a designer and community li liaison here at Local Motors. I'm here to kind of wrap up a few questions on our 3D printed car uh, contest. That seems like uh, it's a very tricky process and it seems like a few people are having a little bit of problems kind of wrapping their brain around it and trust me, I've been spending the past two months wrapping my brain around it too so I'm gonna tell you guys what I've learned being here at Locomotors about the process to start off uh, conventionally when you build a car you deal with multiple different types of process for instance right here with the rally fighter we have the fiberglass process for the body we have the uh, chassis jig where we weld up all the metal to make the chassis and roll cage like you see right here behind me uh, and then you also have parts assembly you have uh, molding you have metal fabrication there's a lot of processes that go into it now with the 3d pretty car we want to eliminate most if not all of those processes we want to print the whole thing interior exterior main chassis structure and assemble the final components and the only assembly that we'd like are things like the actual suspension, the upper A arms, lower control arms, things like that. And then we want to be able to bolt those things on, the very necessary components for the car, the motor, Tracy, the suspension, so things like that. And then we want to roll it off the floor. So it's the least amount of tooling. If you think to yourself, now can I 3D print this part in with my design? Do it. Show us how you can do that because we want to see your guys' minds really exploring uh, the nature of this process. Now what we have here is a little test block of the 3D printing material which is carbon and ABS plastic. And what we, what we are using this for is for testing of how we're going to bolt things to it and uh, structural testing. So you can see we have a bolt here. We actually drilled that out, inserted a uh, sleeve. And we're going to use this, we've been doing weight testing with just this one bolt to see uh, how strong that can be. So this is tough stuff that can be used as a structure. Now that doesn't mean that your car has to be black. Uh, this stuff is black and it's the only color it comes in. However, you can print your structure in black and then as the extruder is moving on we can switch materials midway through uh, to ABS plastic which normally it's white uh, and it can have fiberglass infused in it so it's still pretty structural. Um, but we can actually add color as the process goes on. So as it's printing and the layers going up, you can start with the black stuff for structure. And as it goes up, it can go to white, it can go to red, it can go to blue. Uh, we haven't even actually experimented with all the colors available to us. So as it goes up, the layers can actually change from black to blue to white, and you can actually have multiple colors. However, uh, Unfortunately, we're not doing a type of thing where we would print fenders to bolt on. We would like the fenders to be a part of the main structure as a one piece. But do feel free to play with color as far as the actual process and the layers. Now, as you can see here also, we're going to talk a little bit about the milling process. This is a very unfinished piece, and you can see there's a lot of uh, variation in the layer, if you will. Now what we can do is, on this edge, you have a nice triangular edge here. You can actually take the subtractive process of the 3D printed car challenge. Use that subtractive process to clean up these kinds of edges, but, but you don't have to. If you wanna leave part of it raw, like right here, and have some finished and unfinished edges playing off of each other, I think that would real, really add some uh, dynamic interest to the designs. Uh, now another thing I wanted to talk about is um, people are having trouble with the roof because of the 45 degree overhang, you can't just print in midair. There needs to be some structure. There's a few things you can do with that. Uh, the printing deck is only 2 foot 10 inches off the ground, that's 34 inches, that's about this high not very high but when you're printing a car it's going to be lifted up onto its wheels and then if you print the hood or excuse me roof separate then you're going to be able to snap that roof on but make it to where it's removable because we are trying to print a roadster 
uh, that's good for some daytime sunny driving. Now that's most of the questions. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, of course, feel free to uh, talk to any of us in the community. We're always trying to give you updates on what we've learned about the process and we are still learning. It's a very exciting process. There's quite a few different uh, possibilities on how you can play with this as far as terms of design. I'll be posting uh, some new stuff up a little bit later today in response to this video. So uh, guys keep designing and uh, always go local.